Now, patient has fibrosis. What is the most likely cause of the hypoxemia? Now we know. Diffusion impairment. What's going on? Well, you have failure to equilibrate with the alveolar gas. And thus, you get this increased membrane thickness and your AA gradient is going to be increased. See how simple AA gradient is now? 45-year-old male is involved in an MVA. What's an MVA? Motor vehicle accident. Very good. He suffers a right femoral shaft fracture. Ouch. He has an ORIF. What's an ORIF? Open reduction internal fixation. Those muscular orthopedic guys, they went in and fixed it in the operating room. And three days post-op, he presents with tachycardia and tachypnea as well as pleuritic chest pain. Let's all, let's all give respects to what? A pulmonary embolism, right? Anytime I say tachycardia tachypnea, give your respects to a pulmonary embolism. He is hypoxemic. CT shows blockage of pulmonary artery flow. Uh-oh, no bueno. What is the most likely cause of this patient's hypoxemia? This is going to be a fat embolism, right? You had a fracture and now you have hypoxemia. And this, guys, is the most important cause of hypoxemia, VQ mismatch. Most important cause of hypoxemia and one step further causes increase in AA gradient, that is going to be VQ mismatch. Now, what are the extremes of VQ mismatch? You guys have probably learned this, shunt and dead space. What is this? Pulmonary embolism. Is it a shunt or dead space? That is going to be dead space. Guys, let's just look at this one more time. This is P big A O2. And that represents what? V or Q? What is V? V, yeah, V represents ventilation. Remember, it's a pulmonary capillary interface. Here's P little a O2. And what does, what does this represent? V or Q? Q. And when they're, when they're not matching up with each other, that's called VQ mismatch. The extremes of VQ mismatch. What are the extremes of VQ mismatch? That is going to be dead space and shunt. Let's talk about it because people get it confused. When you're talking about the extremes, let's talk about dead space. Dead space is going to be here. You have great ventilation, sweet. You have awesome ventilation. However, your perfusion, because of that fat embolism, gone. And because your V to Q ratio approaches infinity, I used to be in grade school and I used to be like, oh yeah, a number divided by zero, right? That's an error that mathematically is going to uh, approach infinity. That VQ is going to be dead space because this alveolus is dead. Sorry, you can't participate in gas exchange, you're dead. What's the other extreme of VQ mismatch? The other extreme of VQ mismatch is going to be shunt. I just had a patient who came in yesterday. His four-year-old brother gave him a M&M peanut, one-year-old kid, and the M&M peanut, that baby ate, and it got plugged in the left main bronchus, okay? <laughs> and that was crazy, I was like, oh my gosh. Like, but the attending pimped me and was like, wait, what kind of lung pathology does this cause? And the answer here is going to be what? It's going to be called a shunt. Why? Because what happens in a shunt? Here's your V and here's your Q. What got messed up? V or Q, everybody? One, two, three. V got messed up. Wow. V got messed up? So when you have a shunt, what happens is, is that because this alveoli isn't working, in your lungs you have something called hypoxic vasoconstriction. And so what that vessel says is, yo, alveoli, you're not working too well. Shunts to the other well-perfused or well-ventilated alveoli. Okay, so VQ mismatch, when we're talking about pulmonary embolism, dead space, okay? AA gradient is increased, very high yield for you to know. So a two-year-old is found to have a loud P2 and is blue at the extremities, which relieve these blue symptoms. He is found to have a heart lesion, which has increased right-sided pressures. What is the cause of the hypoxemia? That is going to be tetralogy of Fallot, exactly. And so, tetralogy of Fallot, you saw the tet squats, and a right to left shunt is another cause of hypoxemia. Is the AA gradient elevated, yes or no? Yes, the AA gradient is increased. So now we've talked about diffusion impairment, we've talked about VQ mismatch, and now right to left shunt. These are going to be the causes of hypoxemia that increase your AA gradient.